Hi everyone, I'm mom Sandra. Uh, today's topic is guilt and failure. Uh, for those who have been uh, following our journey, uh, my son has a substance use disorder and we have shared our experiences over the years. Guilt. Guilt is a feeling you get when you think you failed. Uh, for me as a mom, there were many times I felt guilty and I feel like I failed because moms are supposed to fix things, make things better. When it comes to addiction, I've learned I can't fix things and I cannot make it better. Moms are supposed to coddle and love and nurture and take care of everything. Uh, but with addiction, all of that does the opposite. It does not help. Uh, what I've learned is that I cannot fix uh, my son's addiction problem. Um, as a mom, whew, there are many times I felt guilty. I felt guilty that I couldn't help them. I felt guilty when I had to walk away when my son was uh, not housed. I felt guilty when I couldn't prevent things from happening and uh, all the consequences that come with addiction. I felt guilty when I had to hang up on the addiction monster because he was being verbally abusive. The guilt was enormous. And guilt, as we know, can eat us from the inside out. And, and that's why uh, with addiction, as a loved one, we're in that disease with them. For me, staying healthy, I had to learn how not to feel guilty and uh, to know that I'm not a failure and I needed to start to heal myself. I would just, I want to share a few things and I'm just look down on my notes here, a few things that helped me to not feel guilty as a mom. Uh, I started to heal myself. One thing I learned, knowledge is power. I learned that addiction is a disease. I learned the three C's. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and I certainly can't cure it. And I needed to educate myself and I needed to find support and that's what I did. I learned how not to make it easy for my son, how to not make him comfortable. Because when someone with a substance use disorder is comfortable, they have no reason to change. Um, I needed to learn to allow my son to deal with the consequences of his actions and not try to fix it. You know, uh, food, shelter, money, all of that is is part of it. If I made it comfortable and gave him food, shelter, there would be no reason to change. It, I would be helping him stay in his addiction. And that is the complete opposite of what I thought a mom would do. Yes, we clothe, we shelter, but I don't want to keep my son in his addiction. One thing I learned is that addiction is a disease and it is treatable. There is treatment out there. Like any other disease, there are treatments, but I cannot make Ben get treatment. I cannot force him to get the help. And that is one of the hardest things. We can't force anybody for any treatment. Um, I've taken action. Self-care is number one. I need to take care of myself. I need to release any guilt or feeling of failure and know that I'm doing the best I can and I need to stay healthy. I need to stay healthy so when he is ready, I am ready to help him. I have resource numbers ready for Ben when he is ready for help. I have set my boundaries. I don't enable and I'm just going to let him know any time I speak to him that I love him and I am there for him. Addiction can be fatal. Sadly, I know too many who have lost their lives to this horrible disease. And I know so many moms, unfortunately, that have lost their loved ones. And I just wanna to say to those moms, I am so sorry. Um, 
I am so sorry, uh, but you are warriors in my eyes and I think of you all often. I am going to love my son to live. My instinct as a mom was to step in and fix things. But I have learned and through hard work that I cannot step in and fix this. I could be there to love him and support him without enabling and keeping my boundaries because I know there is nothing I can do. But I will continue to pray that one day uh, Ben will choose recovery and want the help and I know I will be my healthiest and ready to help him when he is ready. Until then, I will continue to take care of myself uh, because really, that is the only thing I have control over. Me, my actions, my reactions, staying healthy, and knowing I am doing all that I can do and not feel guilty. Uh, like I said, my instinct as a mom is to fix it. I can't fix it. Only Ben can fix it, but I could be there to love him and support him. And remember, where there is breath, there truly is hope. Peace. Take care, everybody.